Welcome back everyone to another Emacs video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about something in org mode. One of the ways you can think about Emacs is that it's not uh, just a text editor, uh, nor is it an operating system as some people like to joke. It's a interface for using your brain basically, for fun or for a business. One aspect of this that I get a lot of use out of in org mode is what I'll call creative non-destruction. So basically this idea of creative non-destruction is um, based on this idea that uh, we have um, as writers that we hear in college and you hear uh, throughout your life is that uh, sometimes you have to kill your darlings, right? If, if something is not working in your piece of writing, you have to just cut it out and not think about it and uh, throw it away. Uh, but actually, the way it seems to work in reality is that nothing ever goes to waste. Something is always uh, in the back of your head. If you don't use it in, in one piece of writing, it might come out somewhere else. Um, so it's really, um, it's, it's a non-destructive process. Uh, that's the way a lot of art is. And one of the ways that this happens in org mode is, let's say you're working on a document up here and you write down this, this great idea. I had, I had this great idea. And so let's say this is your idea here. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, now that I've started working in my document somewhere up here, I don't really need this great idea. So you might think, oh, well, you know, just kill your darlings, right? Let's just, let's just cut it. It's gone now. You know, uh, but another thing you could do is let's say, you know, I want to set that aside for now. I don't want to kill that great idea because it, it might be useful somewhere else. So you could have here at the bottom of your document something called notes. And now you, if you export this document or whatever, this is actually a heading in your document. So you may not want that. You can just do control C, control Q in org mode to add a tag. And you could put no export. So now this this uh, node here in your document is tagged as no export. So when you export this document, you could have, you know, all sorts of headings up here, you know, heading one, another heading. And when you export your document, all you'll see is this stuff over here. And this stuff that is tagged no export is gone, basically. So that's a way to creatively not destroy something that you might use later. Because maybe, maybe you will use it later. Maybe you will actually just take this and you'll cut it from here and put it in another document. There is, um, you know, an unlimited amount of things you might do with that. Um, so something else uh, that I've, I've talked about in other videos is that, um, you know, let's say you're, you've written in this document. If you go to my video about... Um, uh, I think it's an introduction to uh, writing in org mode. You'll know how you can you can write content underneath headings, and then when it's exported, you know you'll see your paragraph content and you'll see your heading content. So, for example, if this was exported to HTML, these would be level two headings, and you know your title up here, if you include it, would be an, an H1, a heading level one. Um, so let's say you've, you've organized your documents under headings, which you should do because org mode allows you to write and outline at the same time, or just write and not outline, or just outline and not write. It basically, it gives you all this flexibility. But what most people do is they'll, uh, if you're using org mode, you're probably somebody who outlines and writes sort of at the same time. So you can move things around in different sections. And basically the point is that this uh, heading structure is valuable to you. So if you want to export this, but you don't want to see these headings, you know, let's say you um, you wrote a short story that has multiple sections or your, your thesis paper or a paper for class, and you want to export it, uh, but you don't want these headings to actually appear in the document. Maybe you just use them for outlining. Then you can, you can also tag them ignore. Now this is something, this ignore functionality is in the org uh, contribs package, which doesn't come in org mode by default, but I have a video on how you can install it and I'll, I'll link it below so you can take a look at that. But basically now when you export this, um, these, these headings will not be included. It'll just be your paragraph content, your, your body content, basically. Uh, so there you go. Those are just two examples of what I call uh, creative non-destruction. Uh, there's lots of other things as well. Um, some, something that I use a lot, for example, oops, don't need that there, are comments. You know, so let's say um, you've written something here and you don't want it to appear right away. You can just put this uh, 
put the little pound sign or the hash mark behind it, and now this is hidden content. It won't appear in the document. It's basically like a comment that you would leave in a program or something else like that. It's going to be ignored when this is exported. So there you go. A few ideas for how to use creative non-destruction in org mode. So instead of uh, killing your darlings, you can set them aside and you can use them later. But that's it for the video. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.